With strong features cast in burnished gold, Tutankhamun's burial mask shows an image of majestic beauty and royal power. But in the flesh, King Tut had buck teeth, a club foot and girlish hips, according to the most detailed examination ever of the ancient Egyptian pharaoh's remains. And researchers say that rather than being a boy king with a love of chariot racing, Tut relied on walking sticks to get around during his rule in the 14th century before Christ. A virtual autopsy composed of more than 2,000 computer scans, was carried out in tandem with a genetic analysis of Tutankhamun's family, which supports evidence that his parents were brother and sister. The scientists believe that this left him with physical impairments triggered by hormonal imbalances. And his family history could also have led to his premature death in his late teens. Various myths suggest he was murdered or was involved in a chariot crash after fractures were found in his skull and other parts of his skeleton. Now scientists believe he may have died of an inherited illness because only one of the breaks occurred before he died, while his club foot would have made chariot racing impossible. Albert Zink, from the Institute for Mummies and the Iceman in Italy, deciphered the truth about the ruler's parents by studying the royal family's DNA. He found that Tut was born after his father Akhenaten, dubbed the heretic king, had a relationship with his sister. Incest was not frowned upon by the ancient Egyptians and they did not know about the health implications for any offspring. Hudan Ashrafian, a lecturer in surgery at Imperial College London, said that several members of the family appeared to have suffered from ailments which can be explained by hormonal imbalances. He said, a lot of his family predecessors lived to a ripe old age. Only his immediate line were dying early, and they were dying earlier each generation. Egyptian radiologist Ashraf Salim says that the virtual autopsy shows the toes are divergent, in layman's terms it's club foot. He would have been heavily limping. There is only one site where we can say a fracture happened before he died and that is the knee. Evidence of King Tut's physical limitations were also backed up by 130 used walking canes found in his tomb.